this lecture let us discuss about capability maturity model which is a framework that helps organizations improve their software development process by assessing and enhancing their capabilities in a structured manner it is based on the premise that software development process can evolve through a series of maturity levels each of which represents an increasingly sophisticated and effective approach to the software development and this cmm it was initially developed by the software engineering institute at Carnegie Mellon University in the late 1980s and it has been widely used for assessing and improving organizational processes coming to the levels of capability maturity model we have total five levels that is initial repeatable defined managed and optimizing so let us see the levels in detail first level is the initial level where organizations have unstructured development environment and success is completely dependent on individual effort instead of depending on well defined processes so process at this level they are completely disorganized and because of this problems are often unpredictable and undocumented so software projects at this level are completely unpredictable and even there are no standardized practices or procedures because of this these software management process are not qualified for level 2 so cmm has to put those process to level 1 to rearrange the order of the process to avoid these issues for initial level activities to be successful the problem solving process requires the efforts of each individual within the group through adequate recording of previous project errors let me take one scenario in order to make it more clear imagine that there is an entrepreneur who is just starting to open an online florist shop here usually people will order their flowers online and the staff will take orders and deliver flowers all day since its inception the businessman has been very excited and worked hard to launch the first batches of products however the initial startup did not go as smoothly as a businessman thought because 50% of his first shipment was returned furthermore he also received multiple complaints from the customers some of the reasons for the return of the load is that their flower is bent even some parts of the flower are broken and or else there there are some other issues like the flower size is a bit small not suitable for customer so it was returned since this is a relatively new problem for the trader to improve the product he begins to note shortcomings that need improvement such as changes in the size and shape of the flower in addition they'll also list flower sizes on their website and any new flowers they import will be subject to their standard process this is level 1 that is the initial level where they realize new flaws in their product hence the success rate is only 50% and the next level is repeatable level here process will focus and check on basic project management process such as setting up to manage schedules cost etc level 2 does not concentrate on dealing with technical process because these process are not addressed at level 1 due to complexity of the problem instead the repeated level only focus on basic management process so here efforts are made to ensure that there are repeatable process for planning requirement gathering design and testing at the second level success rate of the project management process becomes higher because necessary improvement process have been recorded based on successful results of previous similar projects so if you take the same example the florist also needs to rethink essential project management when dealing with their products and improve product sizes the management process that i want to mention here is about the stores delivery process last time when delivering products to customers for the first time in addition to the small size of the flowers some flowers were bent and broken due to poor flower preservation and delivery therefore he learned from his mistakes and fixed them by changing his staff's means of delivery to be more spacious and less damaging to the flowers so that his better designed products could reach customers and he kept repeating this process over and over again after about 4 months this is the second level that is a repeated level where they fixed the 
problem. Your projects can be completed within the acceptable boundaries of cost, schedule and performance, but still limited focus on continuous improvement. Next level is a defined level where organizations have clearly defined and documented process for or all areas of development. And here the organizations, they completely focus on developing their process based on the organizational standards and the success of the last two stages to speed up problem solving and maintenance. After bringing its improved batch of products to market over the next four to six months, the florist received many compliments and as a result, profits increased. Therefore, they gradually established a standard of their own. Through customers' positive reviews, the imported flowers are gorgeous and have a reasonable size, eye-catching colors. The shop takes that as a motivation. As a result, they continue to promote innovation in flower sizes, continue to import a variety of flowers and improve the delivery process to be both fast and secure. So this is level 3, where they have identified the production problem and 90% of the flowers are consistent. So software development process becomes more consistent here with a with process being tailored to specific needs of different projects and the fourth level is a managed level where organizations focus on measuring and controlling the performance of their process through quantitative data that means organizations will begin to collect and control the data of the process in the software they created at level four Level 4 also concentrates on the company's product, quantitative data and its quality. After continuing to identify and improve from its mistakes of product development, flower preservation process and delivery after about 8 months, the flower shop collects comments from consumers and manages them so that they can improve the quality of their products more based on the wishes of their customers. And in addition to save more time, they introduced a commenting system on their website for their employee to interact directly with the customer and quickly identify defects in which parts need to be corrected. This is level 4, that is a managed level where they introduced a data system that tells them if there is a defect and which part of the factory they come from increasing the success rate to 95%. The decisions are based on the data and metrics, enabling the organization to predict and control the performance of its projects. And the process also, they became completely stable and predictable. And coming to level 5, optimizing level. At this level, organizations focus on continuous improvement by using innovative approaches or by taking the feedback loops and process optimization techniques. So here the complete focus is on uh, continuous process improvement and innovation. New software processes are com continuously improved based on the lessons learned from the both internal and external sources. From receiving online orders, preserving flowers to the delivery process, the systems have all been optimized for the success of the flower shop to be maintained forever, the businessman thinks that it is advisable to expand the shop's capacity so that they can grow not only in one place but also in many other countries. So here process, processes, they are not only efficient and predictable but they also continuously evolving. So this is level 5, optimizing level. After using these new data systems for one year, they have optimized the fault identification process and have a 99% success rate. This is how the capability maturity model is used in real life applications.